welcome to the McGuffey Readers Online Tutor. Today's lesson is from the Table of Vocals. The Table of Vocals, Long Sounds, Diacritical Marks. Do you remember those diacritical marks? We use them in our articulation sound drills. Do you remember the articulation sound drills from the beginning of the McGuffey's second eclectic reader revised edition. We've just completed the long vocals chart and we used lots of vowels, lots of vowel sounds, the A, E, I, O, U, and then we gave them diacritical marks to make different sounds. Like this long line called the macron, we put that right, at, right above the vowel to make a long sound that says its name, like in A, 8, and E, Eve, and I, Ice, O, Old, and U, Use. We also use this bent line that's called a circumflex. In math, it's called a hat, and we placed it on top of the A to represent that bent A sound in words like care. And also we put it on top of the U to represent the bent U sound like in the word burn. Then we use the two dots right above the vowel sounds called a trema and we placed it above the A to show a shift in that A sound, like in the word arm, and we put it under the A to show a different shift in the sound of the letter A, like in the word all. And we even used a dot, called a dot, uh, right above the A to show an extended sound from that A, like in the word last last. And then we use this wavy bent round line called the tilde, which means a bent round nasal sound. So whenever you see this dicritical mark, the tilde, over a vowel sound, it's going to be a nasal sound. In this case, the E as in er, the e as in er. Well, that's our lesson for today, and I hope that you go to the mcguffeyreaders.blogspot.com for more lessons and worksheets. And I hope you join me again. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.